to the next one, which is like a much lighter topic, uh, but I found this to be quite interesting as well. Um, you know, and I've tried to check and see whether this advisory bike lane could be mimicked by using vSIM. Uh, and you know, here's uh, here's the result. You know, at, at least based on my uh, the trial that I've been making. So for those of you who is not familiar with the advisory bike lane, uh, it is like more of a shared space concept. So if you don't necessarily have enough space for uh, like, you know, to assign a lane for each direction for each, you know, vehicular traffic, as well as like, you know, I mean, if you, and also if you would like to add a bike lane on either side, uh, probably you could, you know, consider doing this advisory bike lanes. And there are a whole bunch of types of like many different types of information that I could find from uh, from the web. So feel free to type up uh, advisory bike lane for more details. So this is what uh, I was trying to achieve to model because shared space concept is not that like native to VSIM, uh, but there are some ways that you know I can you know, some features that I can use to mimic this particular case and situation as well. So I found one uh, sample case, which is uh, in Alexandria, Virginia, which is, uh, this is something that the roadway called Potomac uh, Greens Drive, where it's just like, you know, pretty much like in a residential area and there's a shared space and then there are bike lanes on either side. So first and most of all, I created the one long link. I mean, you know, for both directions, like, you know, one for one direction and the other one for the other direction that, as you can see, this is for the southbound and this is for the northbound. It's overlapping with each other exactly. That's because I did overlap two uh, links, which has two lanes for you know, both directions. So as you can see, uh, it's, that's what it is. Like, you know, there are two lanes for each direction and I've adjusted the, the lane width uh, so that I can have um, like, you know, separate lanes to be um, uh, coded in. And also uh, I did turn on, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, has um, the uh, has overtaking lane option down here, which will allow like all the vehicles to use light, you know, right side lane to be for traveling purposes and left side lane only for overtaking or passing purposes. And also knowing the fact and also being able to see what's happening on the uh, opposite direction link. So like what is, you know, what, what's shown here, like uh, the right side lane is gonna be used for travel lane and right left side lane is gonna be used for passing lane. So if you can imagine that like this passing lane here on the left side is exactly overlapping with this like travel lane on the uh, right side here. So travel lane, which is lane number one, it's gonna be open to bike and car. Uh, and we're gonna use, I have used a lateral behavior to make sure that like, you know, that uh, travel, uh, the, the bikes and cars could be using, you know, to, could be traveling on the same lane uh, with different behaviors. And then, uh, as you can, as I mentioned, uh, the lane on the left side or right side is for traveling purposes and the left side is for passing purposes. So uh, for those of you uh, who are not that familiar with the lateral behavior that we have in VSIM, uh, for each driving behavior, you can find uh, that lateral behavior tab, which is fourth one, and uh, it will ask you to define, like, you know, the desired position at free flow uh, travel situation. And then, like, some other details on, like, you know, which uh, site that each of those traffic can pass or overtake, and some other calibration parameters, such as, like, you know, uh, the minimum lateral distance that you want to put, so on and so forth as well. So in this particular case, I'm just setting this like, you know, uh, the bikes to travel on the right side and car to travel in the middle of the lane, middle, middle of the lane, or it could be some other option, you know, you, you'll, and also you could choose some other options such as any as well, but I chose to go with the middle of lane uh, in this particular case. So as you can see, uh, for lane number one, I'm using uh, advisory bike lane link type here, which is going to have, for all the cars, there's uh, advisor bike lane uh, driver model, which you know I have turned on that uh, lateral behavior to be used, and then uh, bike lane, you know, it's I mean for bike uh, vehicle class itself, I'm using it. Uh, I've I've chose to go with uh, this like you know bike 
behavior where it's going to put all the bikes to the right side of the roadway. So let's just try to check and see what happens and how it looks like in vSIM itself. All right, so this is how the model looks like. And I'll turn off the background image so that like it's going to look less busy. So one lane, you know, one link here is going north. Uh, it's like, you know, it has two lanes. And then opposite direction, as you can see from this arrow or this triangle, there's another one which is exactly overlapping to that, you know, which is traveling south direction as well. So now uh, I have turned off this, like, you know, display here, but you can see that, like, you know, for this northbound direction, this left side lane is going to be only used for passing purposes. And for the southbound, like this, again, this left side lane, this lane on the, like, second lane, I should say, uh, is going to be only used for passing purposes. So let me turn this off because it's going to look less busy. So as I run simulation, you're going to see that bikes are going to be loaded and cars are going to be loaded uh, pretty soon. And in here, I didn't make any changes. So every uh, bike and cars are going to be traveling in the middle. And then like as it enters this area, you're gonna see that like those bikes are gonna be pulling to the right side as if they're trying to follow the uh, other, uh, like the actual bike lane that they have. And as you can see, it sees this particular driver sees that like there are bikers here and then like go into the like, you know, closer to the middle and then travel and then come back to its original place so that it's not gonna be in conflict with uh, the vehicle coming from opposite direction. Same thing gets applied to the other ones. Uh, I don't know, my computer is kind of going quite slow. Um, let me turn off some of the other ones. That may will speed up. Okay, and then like you can see that like there are cars, I mean bike, uh, that's like trying to travel on the right side. And as soon as it comes in here, it's not necessarily gonna, it's gonna maintain a distance and then, but like, you know, it's not gonna pass right away because it sees this vehicle on the opposite direction as well. So my point being like, you know, you will be able to achieve what you, what you would like to achieve uh, modeling those advisory bike lane with this particular case by using this lateral behavior uh, and uh, like, you know, like, you know, has overtaking lane components.